Today marks the first day of Hanukkah, but also two months since the start of the Israel-Hamas war. And tonight, dozens gathered in Stinson Park to light a menorah and celebrate the hopefulness of the holiday. KETV Newswatch 7's Abby Peterson has our story. A light in the darkness as flames burn bright. The concept is uh, very old, but very relevant, very present. This year on the first night of Hanukkah, the menorah meant more than ever to Omaha's Jewish community. Realizing that when there is chaos and when there is uh, a lot of darkness, uh, that all we got to do is take out the ammunition that we have, which could be a small candle or a flask of oil, and we just put a match to it and suddenly all the darkness vanishes. That's because it's been two months, 60 days, since Hamas's attack on Israel sparked a war. Rabbi Mendel Katzman, director at the Chabad Center, says it's been extremely difficult. The wounds are fresh and the pain is deep. Thursday at Stinson Park, there were smiles on faces, latkes being eaten and happy memories being made. But there was still an acknowledgement that some Israeli hostages were not lighting the menorah with their families like they should. A little part of my heart is still in Israel, hoping and praying and wishing for uh, the safety and security of my people in Israel and all over the world. But while they grieve, they believe now is also the time to be confident in who they are. I feel like it's just a repeat of history where we get to show up, be proud, be Jewish, be loud, um, be out here in the public lighting the menorah at Stinson Park. And despite their pain, people say their hope is even greater. Hopefully we'll get over it and we'll come out of this better than ever before. In Omaha, Abby Peterson, KETV News Watch 7.